Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Exploits have been around since the dawn of video gaming. Some are simply amazing, some hilarious, and some break the game completely, ranging from minor bugs and glitches to monumental manipulations of in-game mechanics. Here are six video game exploits we couldn't resist trying. Be honest, can you say you have never tried any of these yourself? By the way, these ideas have come from our Discord community, so if you'd like to contribute to future videos, come join our dysfunctional family. I'll put a link below. Let's start with the brilliance of Skyrim, which was released back in 2011. This open world RPG will probably go down as one of the greatest of all time. As I'm writing this, it's about to be released on virtual reality, so hopefully this exploit will still work for anyone who is trying that version. The main gameplay loop of Skyrim revolves around the skill tree and repetition of each element to upgrade. So for example, to level up lock picking, you need to pick a ton of locks. Well, early on in the game, in fact just when you gain control of your character, which I'm sure you gave an epic beard to, follow Hadvar and once he removes your binds, pick up a sword and beat the living shit out of him. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these words. Not only do they survive, but Hadvar doesn't even mind and he will give you advice whilst you're slicing him to pieces. You better get some gear. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. In no time at all, your single-handed and dual-wielding levels will shoot up, making the game far easier in the opening few hours. This is also a great method of relieving tension in your own life. And that's for mortgage repayments, and that's for the interest rates going up, and that's for Christmas songs coming out in November. This technique can be exploited until you open the chest, but it's still possible to repeatedly batter him until you finally reach Skyrim. At this point, Hadvar will suddenly decide he's sick of your shit and will promptly put you in your place. Exploiting single player games is a victimless crime as you only limit your own experience of a certain game. But what about online exploitations? When Friday the 13th released in May 2017, the horror community rejoiced, a game which put you in the boots of a psycho or a fear-filled counsellor of Crystal Lake. The whole point of the game is to survive Jason, but of course it's damn hard to do as Jason can jump around the map and kill everyone in quick succession. This led to some disgruntled people finding exploits to ensure Jason couldn't catch them. One method used a bear trap to glitch onto roofs, and another used a crouch function, or the teabag button if you're a Call of Duty player, to glitch through the walls into hidden spaces, or better yet, the roof. This meant, unless Jason was lucky with his throwing knives, the cheaters would survive every game and achieve high levels of XP. This is where the awesome Friday the 13th community came into its own. They took it upon themselves to help Jason by using the glitch to find those tricksters and either beating them to death or using a shotgun to the face. Oh, this you. one is from a YouTube channel called Relentless Remag. I salute you for your dedication to tracking down these cheats. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Bitch. <laughs> Tea bag, um. Nice. Gun media were quickly to patch both team killing and more importantly the dreaded roof and wall bugs. Let's go back in time to 1992 and the Super Nintendo, and probably the greatest 2D RPG of all time, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Ok, let's just go back to the Super Nintendo Mini instead. The following exploit works on both versions of the game. Most people will put 20-40 to 40 hours into Link to the Past to experience the entire story, but for speedrunners, an exploit can make the game's ending be seen in just a few minutes, and here's how it's done. After waking up and seeing your uncle run into the night like a madman, make your way to the secret entrance in the castle. Upon grabbing your sword and shield, take this route and get this guard's attention by holding down the attack button and hitting a nearby wall. As he approaches, put yourself next to a wall and hold left. Once he hits you, you'll be in the wall. We can now run up a few screens along the bottom and then straight up to the end of the game. Now enjoy those credits and a speedrun world record. Sadly, this glitch is not recognised as a real record, but hey, print your own certificate and no one will know you are a dirty, dirty, dirty cheat. Except you, of course. Dead 
Destiny is all about grind and repeating the same level 50,000 times, but damn it, I still like it. The pinnacle of each Destiny title and expansion are the raids. In the original Destiny, we exploited Atheon, a Atheon, Atheon, and pushed him off the edge of the cliff. Then that was patched. In fact, every single exploit gamers have found in Destiny has ultimately been patched. Now in Destiny 2, we have a glitch which the developers are struggling to remove. It's the Callus glitch, named after the first area it was discovered in. Usually at this point in the raid, you are fighting for your life and murderizing more enemies than a Hollywood blockbuster. Alternately, with a bit of timing, the final boss encounter can look more like this. So, we just stand here. <laughs> this is so much fun. We should do this more often. To dupe the system, the last standing guardian simply leaves the group as the encounter is about to reset. Upon their return, all the doors are open and not a single additional enemy will join the fight. Okay, so it completely destroys this great encounter, but doing this method is all about how quick you can get this precious loot. Is it just my group or does someone always punch the boss in the groin repeatedly? Whatever floats your boat. You enjoy yourself, pal. It's all good. All the way back in early 2015, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was released to rave reviews, an open world quest-a-thon with hundreds upon hundreds of items making up the economy system. New players struggled to afford, well, struggled to afford anything in the early stages as Geralt was a bit skint to say the least, and finding Ciri is an expensive affair. Where, where am I? Ah, <sighs> Ciri. Hmm. Uh, get your sidetrack, come on. To get round this, an exploit was discovered. By finding a field full of cattle and slaughtering them all, they could drop their pelt for Geralt to sell to merchants. What made the exploit even better was by using the time passing mechanic, known as meditating, this would cause the cows to respawn, and the process could be repeated over and over again, completely breaking the game's economy and giving the player an early boost. The Witcher 3's developers, CD Projekt Red, decided to patch the exploit in a frankly brilliant way. If the player killed the cattle in White Orchard three times, a great hulking level 27 chort would come and wreck them. Luckily, this beast was only a problem for low level players, so I schooled that beast. So if you're planning to exploit a CD Projekt Red game, then uh, prepare to die. Let's go back to Skyrim again, and probably the most used exploit in gaming history. I'll just say it, the bucket head thief. It sounds ridiculous, but for years millions of us used a simple bucket or basket to cover the eyes of a resident in Skyrim, and whilst they were asking who turned out the lights, we stole everything we could. My personal fetish was to steal all drinking vessels. I called myself the mugger. I was much younger back then, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> Over time, it finally got patched, so what started as a friendly bit of thievery ended in a serial killer rampage. I stole enough Daedra hearts to make this freaking stunning Daedric armor. And who said cheaters never prosper? I'm living the Skyrim dream. <sighs> what a shame, it's all built on lies. So there we have it, six video game exploits we couldn't resist trying. We've come a long way from cheat codes and game genies, and although video games receive regular patches these days, exploits, bugs and glitches are found regularly. A quick thank you to those on Discord who helped me with this list, and please consider subscribing if you haven't already for more lists, news and general PlayStation tomfoolery. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. So my job is just to uh, wait. This is great. This is hmm, just waiting. Okay, I can do that. If that's what you need me to do, <laughs> I'll wait. This, this, imagine if I was live streaming now. This must be the most awesome display of teamwork they've ever seen in their lives. Hello, and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. Today, standing around and waiting. <laughs> oh, I can't take this much longer. Exploits aren't really that good, are they? Exploits? I feel like I should make a video about exploits after this. In fact, yes, I'm going to make a video about exploits. And I'll even put this in. <laughs> I'll put this in me just, just randomly talking to myself whilst waiting for the team to be ready on the callous glitch. Still on my own? 
Anyone? This is so much fun. 